Tears are a familiar sight all over our country. We fill them with waste and each year millions of pounds of trash are dumped into our landfills. But now we move to a different kind of waste, one that's much more dangerous and with one wrong move could be deadly, radioactive waste. Radioactive waste is split into two different categories, high level and low level. Low level consists of materials that were accidentally exposed to radioactivity such as cleaning cloths and tools. Low level waste makes up 90% of all radioactive waste. High level waste, on the other hand, is made up of fission products and elements generated from the reactor core. This waste is hot and very radioactive and must be handled with extreme care. 2010 brought our grand total of radioactive waste to 138 million pounds and counting. This seems like a large amount, but compared to the energy we receive, this waste is relatively minimal and very clean. We are looking at technologies that would allow us to recycle that because although it's called waste, it's really got an energy value in it. There's a lot more energy value in a, what, what's called spent fuel. Recycling or reprocessing separates the some 96% of uranium and energy that still remains in the spent fuel. This will now be reused in another nuclear reactor. Spent fuel rods are often placed in spent fuel pools which are high security. Spent fuel pools are often located right on top of the reactor sites themselves for added measure of security. These pools are around 40 feet deep and equipped with special metal racks designed to hold the spent fuel rods for about 20 years until they are cool enough to be moved to a more permanent storage facility which will be decided upon by the government. Which cannot be recycled now must either be transferred to a secure storage facility among the United States or in most cases just stays at the reactor site itself. A more permanent place for the radioactive waste would have been Yucca Mountain in Nevada, but due to budget and security reasons was banned by the government. I'm Carolyn Joseph, investigating nuclear power. Back to you, Ms. Johnson.